Okay, in this video, we are going to show how to take a Loom video and get it published onto YouTube. And so what you do, the first thing you do, is you start with logging into your Loom account. So you're going to log into your Loom account. You're going to see that, notice there's videos in the library. If you were to click on my library, you'll see the videos. And you're going to see that some of these are not shared to your workspace. You see how this, for example, says not shared. The easiest way, and, and you see this one here, is all 10x Flow SEO, so that's my workspace, that's the organization. So you, you click on whatever's not shared, you click on where you want to share it, and click share, now that's gonna be part of your uh, work group, so that anybody within your organization can now see it. And this is what you're going to need to have before you can really delegate these videos out to get these on to YouTube. So if, if we are going to look at this, uh, for somehow this says 10x YouTube Loom video guide. Uh, what's interesting is that's literally right now recording. So when any, anytime you record a Loom video, it will start automatically saving it where you want it to uh, it, within your library. So that's this video that I'm doing right now. So let's just look at this one here. Why start with Headline Studio research prior to writing an article? So this is for content creation. If I want to take this video and I want to get it onto YouTube, what I need to do is I need to first open this video here within Loom. And as soon as this opens, you will see right up in the top right, you have three uh, dots up here. It says more actions. You click that. And after you click that, all you do is download. So once you download this video, um, there we go, downloading video. And after this video is downloaded, here we go, we're going to name it. And let's see if we can just kind of copy this title for the moment. Here we go, downloading video. So this is where it downloaded, over here. And I'm gonna move this here. So why start? Here we go, show and finder. And that's gonna open up. Here we go, why start uh, with Headline Studio Research prior to writing an article? So that's the exact same one. So then what we're going to do is we're going to open up our YouTube channel. So this one is our contact and, and this is uh, easily accessible through um, logging in through RoboForms, and it's the contact uh, uh, at look, uh, contact at 10 uh, account. So you'll click on Create, Upload Videos, and it's as simple as dragging this video here right into where it belongs. So we're just gonna drag that, put it down here, and that's now going to upload the video, and it'll take a second for it to do it. And what we wanna do is we want the title and description. We'll just keep it the same for now. And we're gonna uh, the default is no, it's not made for kids, and so this is if it's specifically targeting kids as the audience, since it's not specifically targeting kids as the audience, it's a general video, like a how-to video, then you put the no here. And then you click next. Okay, so far it says upload complete, processing will begin shortly. Okay, so for now, I'm going to click Next. And it's gonna check for copyright, so click Next. For now, we're going to select 
private. We're going to publish it just privately until we're ready to um, publish it uh, after we fill out the rest. Um, and then, here we go. And we can click Save. Okay. Once you've clicked Save, now it's going to finish its uploading process. This video is only visible to you. So now you'll notice within our um, channel here, if we were to um, if we were to take a look at what is on our channel, if you're going to view channel, this is our channel. This video is only visible to us um, until we make it, because it's private, until we make it public. We're going to publish it publicly after we finish the rest of these steps. But that is the first step to get our Loom video onto, here we go, you go to you, your videos. And that's the very first step to get your video from Loom published onto YouTube. And uh, we, we set it privately. We're going to show you how to optimize it. And then after it's optimized, we will make it public. So here we are. We have Why Start with Headline Studio Research. And the visibility here is it's private for now. We can always toggle and make this, um, we can make it public, but we're going to first um, modify it so that it is optimized. And the way we're going to modify it is we're going to click Details and Modify it. 